Hi, I'm Scott O'Neill, resident conductor with the Colorado Symphony. We'll be visiting Lone Tree with an exclusive program you can only see there when architecture meets classical music. Now, we're going to be exploring how music is constructed similarly to buildings and architecture with my colleague Dennis Humphreys. If you think about it, most of the things that we hear that we would call music, I would say, are the surface details, the walls, the decorations but there are actually building blocks that create those walls. Um, and we'll be exploring this in pieces like Beethoven's uh, Symphony No. 5, Schumann's Symphony No. 3, a movement which he himself said depicted the great cathedral in Cologne, and um, a movement from a Haydn symphony, as well as the overture Beethoven's Consecration of the House. And uh, if we think about those building blocks, Beethoven's Fifth is a good example of how he takes a very basic building block, and he uses that block over and over again to construct the walls, the rooms, the hallways, the, the entire building. So from the building blocks, we, we start with just the building block, and then a similar one, and another, then do it again, and another. Then he starts playing an upside down building is going to be use the same building blocks to connect to other phrases which then creates um, maybe the hallways the connecting material to the next phrases and those phrases are going to create a new room and you put all these rooms together and we start to get a section of the house a, a, an exposition or a development and eventually when we finally get the entire house we realize that everything in the house was based on these basic basic building blocks so the thing is, you could see that and simply say, well, okay, that's so, how it's put together, so what? Well, the reason it matters is that, in our view, science is the study of phenomena, how things happen. Invention is the use of science to combine and recombine ideas to create new ideas. And art is the use of science and invention to try to express something. And what Beethoven and Schumann and Haydn express is something so worthwhile. We hope you won't miss it. Hope to see you soon. Till then, take care.